Technology has made it easier for parents to snoop on their children. A study found 61% of parents check their teens' web history, 60% monitor their social media use, and 48% have looked through their child's phone calls and messages. Psychologist and CBS News contributor Lisa Demore writes about this in her latest New York Times online article, Is Snooping on Teenagers Ever Okay? Lisa is also the author of Untangled, Guiding Teenage Girls Through seven, the Seven Transitions into Adulthood. Lisa, good morning. Good morning. So are there some instances where it's okay to snoop? Well, first, let's say what snooping is, right? It's monitoring without telling them you're monitoring. So it's going on under the table. So already we are starting to compromise questions of trust. So we want to be really careful if we think about snooping because when parents do it, we have research showing that it does harm the relationship with their kids. So how Not if they don't know you're snooping. Well, here's what's interesting. <laughs> You've got to be really good snooping. about it. But then it raises the question of what do you do if you find something? Well, right, I mean, then listen, hello, it. my name is Gail. I was a snooper. And just because they want privacy doesn't yeah. mean they're doing anything because most of the stuff I found was quite boring. Well, that's a really important point. you feel a little point. bit guilty? Mm, maybe a nanosecond, <laughs> maybe. But let's start with maybe. that. Yeah. Teenagers want privacy yes. for its own sake. Mm -hmm. And just because a teenager wants privacy doesn't mean they're up to something. And I think it's important for parents to remember yes, that. you're right. Is there yeah. any other way to accomplish the in interests of the parents without snooping? Absolutely. Um, the research also tells us they should probably just ask. Um, we have research showing that teenagers do expect to share information with their parents, especially around health and safety. Mm -hmm. We also know that teenagers share more information with parents that they feel accept them and trust them. Mm -hmm. So if parents say, look, this is not about you getting in trouble, this is not about me getting mad, we want to know that you're okay. And you can tell me anything. And you can anything. tell me anything. Yeah. This is about safety. Chances are they're going to get an above board response that they can really work with. We've been talking all morning promoting your, your, your appearance about legal issues with snooping. Yes. They're very, very murky. But here's what we know. You do have a right to spy on your own child. That does not always extend to a right to spy on other people's kids, which if you're monitoring a conversation, that could easily happen. Mm -hmm. So what are the legal issues? You know, it gets tricky fast, but I think um, parents just want to be mindful that they may actually end up monitoring a conversation about somebody else's kid or involving somebody else's kid, and not all parents may be okay with their child being spied on. Okay, and I also think it's important to point out, point out snooping is, comes from a protective and loving space. Yes, okay. it always yeah. starts from a loving space. That's right. Another thing that's interesting in the research is that parents who snoop don't have kids who are be misbehaving more. Yeah. We okay. find that too. Yep. I agree. Thank you, Lisa Demore. Thank sure. you very much. Lisa's book, as Nora mentioned, is called Untangled. It's out in paperback right now, wherever you like to buy your books.